Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. This is Puxy and we're gonna be continuing with password cracking. So this is uh, gonna be a little short video and I apologize for that but it is gonna be the way it is because we're gonna be generating some rainbow tables which I will tell you later in the video what they are and this might take a bit of time about six hours or depending on your processor. So let's get on with it. So in this video tutorial, let's clear some more basics. So let me start with the difference between encoding, encryption and hashing. So encoding is the process of converting data into various formats and uh, using publicly available methods. Uh, encoding can be such as, uh, mm, let me get my terminal out and clear this. So if I'm converting uh, binary to hexadecimal that's encoding all right so encryption encryption is the process of scrambling data uh, to make it decipherable only by the and only decipherable by the intended uh, recipients typically the recipients are who have authorized the transaction of the data so uh, sensitive information is usually encrypted now let's get on to hashing that's what we are looking for so hashing is a method that scrambles data by applying one way of transformation so we have md5 hashes and uh, sha1 hashes and these are all the techniques so as such any data that has been applied to hashing algorithms cannot be reversed in other words any data that has been hashed cannot be unhashed by reversing the algorithm which is very fun so when hashing the data the sum uh, uh, the same data input always scrambles into the same hash output and uh, yeah that's it for hashing so in this video tutorial what we're going to be discussing is what am i doing over here no not another process is using it uh wait a minute guys let me get my distro to upgrade sudo okay what the hell Oh, no, no, the process is using it. Anyways, okay, so I was on, yes, rainbow tables. Now, rainbow tables are pre-computed tables for reversing cryptographic hash functions, usually for cracking password hashes. Tables are usually used in recovering a plain text password up to a certain length, consisting of limited set of characters. And, uh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, rainbow tables are uh, basically a set of words uh, that are hashed and then stored. So uh, when we are actually hashing our, uh, what do you say, password, or you know what, uh, let me get from the very starting. Normally when you crack a password hash, your computer computes a password, generates uh, computer password uh, generates a hash and compares to see if there is a match. And if there is not a match, it will, uh, you know, g get on to the next guess. This means that hashes are pre-generated by computer and stored in large rainbow table files uh, with all the hashes and words that corresponds to them. So. Uh, this is the method that Windows uses and you guys can actually buy uh, rainbow tables and these can be rather expensive and uh, these will be about uh, 45 gigs worth of files and that's actually kind of huge. So you guys uh, probably don't want to buy that but uh, if you are a professional go ahead and buy it. Uh, <laughs> it's your money I don't know what you guys want to do with it. So let me just clear this out and in this video totally what I'm going to show you is how to uh, generate your own rainbow table so you guys don't already always have to go in the market and buy it so we already have our Kali Linux up and running so what you guys want to do is follow me so the first thing we guys uh, want to do is type in rtgen uh, which stands for uh, rainbow table generator if you hit enter you guys see all the <coughs> uh, all the options that are available you guys might want to go through this uh, link I highly recommend that so let's just generate this password hash and let me just copy and paste it and wow that what what you know what let me try something of my own uh lower alpha numeric and uh, one okay my numpad once you know what uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me copy the command from my notes. And I'm just gonna type it over here. Hmm, rainbow uh, table generation is finished. So, wow, this was fairly quickly. Wow, I didn't expect that. Anyways, so what this command does is that it generates uh, passwords in lower alphanumeric characters and uh, it has, wait, did it even paste? No, uh, that was not. Oh god damn it. 
that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm sorry guys, I didn't paste it. <laughs> All right. So this might take some time. All right. So uh, what this command is doing, first of all, we are calling to the function or the program Rainbow Table Generator. It's uh, generating passwords in MD5 hash format. If you guys don't know about that, check out my other video tutorials. I might have explained it. I definitely uh, have explained it. MD5 hashes are actually very famous and uh, mostly famous because they are vulnerable. <laughs> so and what is what this is doing is that it is uh, generating passwords in lower alphanumeric uh, characters. So you guys won't find any alpha numeric uh, characters so this is the character set we have got going on over here and uh, this is the argument that we have passed so uh, this is going to take all the uh, alphabets obviously and uh, the number so 0 to 9 over here and this will generate a crap ton of passwords so <laughs> these are the number of hashes that we will get so this is gonna be a huge file and obviously you guys can always buy it uh, some of the password hashes I suppose are available for free but uh, those are for Windows Vista and uh, Windows XP. Windows XP's are mostly free so not mostly I think uh, almost Windows uh, XP ones are free so don't just waste your money buying Windows XP you might get scammed or something. Uh, Windows Vista uh, are mostly free some are very expensive and uh, Windows 7 are all uh, paid so just watch out for that alright you do not want to pay for something that you guys can get for free and I don't mean uh, that in the sense that I am condoning uh, piracy so all right this is going to take pretty freaking long so 47 minutes huh 47 minutes really all right so uh, that's it for today's video guys I know this was short as hell but uh, I can't help it because I didn't actually uh, put this uh, to generate so in the next video tutorial what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, hashing or dehashing a password and uh, with these rainbow tables and I'm gonna be showing you a uh, little more use of John the Ripper and maybe maybe I will show you how you guys use Hashcat though I wouldn't recommend using Hashcat it does come uh, with a ton of options but uh, Hashcat just works uh, you know it has uh, fucked me on the you know uh, efficiency base so John the Ripper has always had my ass covered so you guys don't want that so this might take some time all right a crap ton of time and I am not gonna wait for the six minutes for that so tune in for uh, the next video guys if you like this video hit that like button if you dislike this video you know what to do if you have any questions or want to discuss anything get down in the comments down below we will have a conversation going on if you want to see more of us hit that subscribe button somewhere on the screen there will be a notification so thank you guys for watching watching this is poxy and i am signing out i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial thank you